Hey everybody, welcome to your daily for the uh, 26th and the 27th of August 2024. Let's go ahead and let's get into the energies. Wanted to get these out while I am doing the monthly reading. Let's see what we got going on here for the monthly reading. I'm sorry, for the daily reading. August 26th and 27th, right around there. I like to give at least two or three days with the dailies. I like to give it just two or three days to really let the energies kind of, you know, congeal and be recognized. So we don't go from tarot reading to tarot reading, tarot reading, tarot. I mean, yes, things can change quickly, but usually there's this residual effect that happens. All right, let's go ahead and uh, say our prayer. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and any tongue which rises up against you in judgment you shall condemn. Such is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, saith the Lord. Sending you all love and protection. All right, let's go ahead and do your own personal prayer over the deck. What questions do you want you know, answered? You know, when, when I say, let's pray over the deck, <clears throat> if you have a specific question, just ask that question and ask for the right guidance for you, what you need to know, okay? Let's go ahead and pray over the deck. All right. Bottom of the deck. Eight of Pentacles, yeah, someone is working, okay? Someone is getting back to work. Um, it feels it feels like to me that someone was so focused on something else or someone else's success that they either lost themselves in that or they lost their direction, they lost their focus. But now they're gaining that back. They're getting that back. And they're saying to themselves, this is what I'm going to focus on. Someone may also be consumed with money, uh, trying to, there could be spell work here, absolutely. And there could also be this energy of someone trying to get rid of somebody else to get access to this money. Hmm. Like they wanted something to die on the vine. They wanted something to be eliminated so that they could have a direct path to getting this money. I think they're being found out though. This is really interesting. Let's just keep going here. I am getting a little bit of the gold digger energy with this. You know, where men or women, they marry for money. There's a little bit of gold digger energy. the deck the emperor whoa you know this may be uh, a capricorn in aries or a taurus individual sun moon rising venus or jupiter masculine energy it could be a father an older person they are literally all they're all they're doing is working they don't want to have any distractions they don't want to talk to anyone all they want to do is work This could also be them working on a specific goal. Finances, acquisitions, um, projects, process mapping, perfection. Um, putting something together. Some of you might be reading directions right now to put something together. Maybe you got something from Ikea. I don't know. But 
like putting furniture together or something like that, or, or doing something to uh, build something is what I'm hearing. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. What do we have for the source energy? The Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands in this deck, um, you know, a lot of time you see the Knight of Wands and it's about travel and quick movement and you know, um, action being taken. This Knight of Wands in this deck is very different. This Knight of Wands is pissed. <laughs> They're pissed. They want to burn everything down. So I don't know who this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius is in your life, but they want to burn everything down. They want to cause some sort of destruction in somebody's life. Um, oh my gosh. If I can't be happy, nobody can be happy. Wow. Wow. That's a pretty serious type of uh, statement to make. What is the next card? Seven of Pentacles. Now the Seven of Pentacles came in uh, at the last daily reading, but the Seven of Pentacles is different. Remember, you can't just take the traditional message of the card as face value. You have to look at the imagery. You have to look at how the creator made the card. In this particular case, someone is saying, you know, there may be waiting involved, absolutely, but it looks to me like someone is saying no access. You don't have any access and you don't want any access to this. Okay. And so the reason this might be happening is because, as you can see here, um, this energy is coming through as you may not like what's behind this door. You may not like what you're going to find here. It's almost like somebody is protecting someone from some sort of chaotic energy or damaging energy or destructive energy. What is that saying I'm getting? Um, you know, it's like, it's like when you have like bouncers at, at, you know, clubs and stuff like that. And you got somebody, you know, creating a bunch of havoc and the, and they start mouthing off to the bouncer and the bouncer says, don't try me. You, you do not want me to unleash the beast on this one. Go sit yourself down. Go out to your car. Cool off. That could be something going on here. I think that this emperor might be trying to calm somebody down. Okay. I think they may be trying to tell somebody to settle down and to you know, stop acting a fool. Stop trying to burn everything down. This could be a father figure that's dealing with kids that are a little bit out of control as well. So when somebody starts burning everything around them, like this is rage. 
This is rage. This could also be where somebody's true colors came out in a situation. Like someone realized that this person could not be trusted. Like they thought this person was calm and sweet and doting and everything else and was like all sorts of, you know, awesome and perfect. But what they're finding out is they have this side of them that once they have somebody under their thumb, like if you look at this, I mean, this massive sword that this emperor is wielding, it almost looks like he's got somebody under his thumb in a way. Okay. And so once somebody has you under their thumb and they, and they can now control you, that's when the true colors start coming out. They, they act irrational, irate. They start yelling. They start because let's find out why. I, I, I don't want to get ahead of myself here. So someone is a raging lunatic. Okay, so what is the outcome of this? The sun. Yeah. So this could be definitely children. All right. Uh, someone wants someone to have like the perfect look with the perfect family with the perfect children. That's what they want. Uh, but the thing about it is that I'm getting here is that because someone went on a raging lunatic binge, someone decided to separate themselves and become independent again. They, they said, nope, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with this immaturity. This is not happening. Um, I'm not going to be part of this. So I got to go. I got to go. I don't want to be part of this. This could also be, remember what I said about somebody's true colors coming out? The sun can always be illumination. You may be dealing with a Leo. Or this happened in the recent past. Now someone is saying, well, you don't want to cross me. You don't want to cross me. You do what I tell you to do. Because access is denied. All those hopes and all those dreams and all that fun. It's like Hotel California, man. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. So what happens when the Seven of Pentacles comes out with this dangerous... Man, this person's dangerous. Coming out again. Three of Cups reversed. You don't have access. And because you don't have access... Whoa, I think someone's being ostracized here. I think that someone I think that someone is realizing how destructive and toxic this group is. This could also just be a delay, um, get togethers, delays, running late, you know, that type of thing. But it's almost like someone here, possibly this raging lunatic, um, it seems like they have a lot of friends around them. And you always got to be careful with that, guys. I know it's great to have friends. I get it. But those really special friends should be a very small group. Very small. 
if there's tons of talking, tons of social media, tons of, oh, you're my friend. Oh, you're this, you're that. Da, da. I'm telling you, they can turn so fast. So the group should be a very small group that are the, the very, very close friends. And so what I see happening is that this friend group turned on somebody. They were gossiping, they were lying, they were manipulating, they were they they may be recognizing that maybe the person that they were hanging out with or the person that they were having fun with or the person that they felt free with or whatever they're realizing that they may be the the puppet master behind this group and It's almost like these are flying monkeys. They're sending out the flying monkeys or they're threatening to send out um, pieces and bits of information that are really going to ruin somebody. And someone has been ostracized from the group this is a complicated reading, guys. And I feel like when someone is finally ostracized from this group, they focus on their leadership. They focus on being a good father. They focus on those things. And they just they focus on work. Because they don't want to be associated with this anymore. Something is not right. Something is not stirring the Kool-Aid here. Somebody's mad about a child or is angry regarding something about a child. Or maybe somebody acting childish. Or someone is mad because someone is now loving themselves. They're finding their joy. They're finding their love. Very interesting. All right. This is why the sun is here. This is why the three of cups is reversed. And this is why this could also be overindulging. Oh dear. This is driving under the influence with a child in the car. That's what I'm picking up. Oh my gosh, I hope that is not happening to any of you. Or something about driving under the influence at, at work or driving under the influence while working or being under the influence at work. Somebody getting caught under the influence. An investigation. All right, let's see what's going on here, guys. I there may be I'm just going to tell you this is going to sound bad. I don't want to offend anybody. Um there may be a child on the other side that is reaching out to someone trying to give them information. This could have been a child that passed away in a car accident or while traveling or something like that. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Ace of Wands and Strength.
someone wants their new beginning. They are passionate about it. They want it. And again, all this fire is coming up. And then you have the strength and look at her. She is like looking at somebody like, you're not going to get in the way of my new beginning. F no, Uh uh-uh. Sit and spin. Not happening. So again, the Leo energy comes up. I think that someone is defending themselves and it's no holds barred. It is no holds barred at all. This could be where someone is getting in an argument over the children, about the children. Someone's losing their crap. Someone wants to burn the whole thing down. Something about the children, burning the whole thing down. Children. Um, oh, gosh. Okay. So this happens. And this is the outcome with the sun. So why is the sun here? The four of wands and the queen of wands. The home. Okay. Okay. The home, romance, welcoming, the home, um, being celebrated, being part of a family. And it's the queen of wands. It's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, third decan, Pisces. Feminine energy. Okay, guys, I'm going to say it. I think... I think that this Queen of Wands right here, because she's she's sitting pretty. She's innovative. She's got great things going. She's got projects. She's loved. She's, you know, enigmatic. She's um, magnetic as well. And I think what's happening here is this Queen of Wands may have been this raging lunatic or... She wanted to burn something down. And the reason she wanted to burn something down may have had something to do with someone always being under the influence of friends or something like that. Like somebody could not make their mind up for some reason or someone was making them wait or someone was making them um, feel trapped or in danger of something happening. And so they garnered their strength They burned it down to the ground. They're now free. And now she is just, she's single. She's beautiful. She's being welcomed into people's homes. She's popular. She's a socialite. All of that. This is interesting energy, guys. Oh my gosh. Why is the seven of pentacles here? The king of pentacles and the lover's card. Wow. The King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. This could also be a third decan, third deck, and Leo. And there's the Leo again. Something about boundaries. Something about needing to maintain a level of discernment, I'm hearing. Regarding the money, was was there a group of people trying to access somebody's money? And was it this King of Pentacles? And was it someone that was their their lover or their mate or their significant other? Did this King of Pentacles find out? 
that some group was trying to be part of, like riding their coattails, wanting their money, uh, gold digger energy. I did get gold digger energy over here, possibly within a friend group. And now that this King of Pentacles knows about this, he's got his boundaries up. And he's telling people to stay away from him, stay away from me because I know who you are. Why is the Three of Cups reversed? The Hangman and the Two of Swords, and those are very, very similar energies. The Hangman being in limbo. Somebody's looking at this group from another perspective and what they're finding out they don't like. They feel like they've been scapegoated. They feel like they've been gossiped about. They feel like they've been injured. And now they don't want their heart they're not letting anybody in. Now, the thing is, is they have two swords of truth. And one of the truths is much heavier than the other one. As you can see, she's having a hard time keeping that other sword upright. So this has something to do with maybe stop looking at with your eyes on what is going on around you and being able to tap into your intuition to determine how you are going to be handling a certain situation. A Pisces may have something to do with this. A Pisces may have warned somebody to keep their distance and keep their guard up around a friend or a friend group and somebody didn't do that. Now they're seeing it from a different perspective. This is a wild reading. Okay. Why is the emperor here? Oh my gosh. Judgment. And the queen of pentacles. Here's this queen of pentacles again. I, I, believe, I believe this person may have earth in their chart and fire in their chart. I believe it is a feminine energy. And this emperor is now under judgment. And what he had to do to get out of that judgment, because this queen of pentacles is causing it because the queen of pentacles has value. The queen of pentacles is loyal. The queen of pentacles is nurturing. The queen of pentacles, you know, manages her own money. She's very, very stable. Okay. Okay. But there's judgment associated with her. So maybe she judged someone or someone was judged in a situation. And I think what's happening this whoever because we have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the King of Pentacles. So this is a couple. Here's the lover's card, but here's judgment. So I think this King of Pentacles is trying to graduate himself into being an emperor. And I almost feel like this, this King of Pentacles or this emperor wants, wants this Queen of Pentacles and this Queen of Wands back because they burned the bridge. Somebody burned the bridge. Somebody just went said, that's it, I'm burning it to the ground. Now, they could have been a raging lunatic or they could have been someone who was quiet. I mean, if you look at the strength, someone has a lot of strength and a lot of calm and a lot of focus. And they're saying, burn it down to the ground. I'm not going to say anything, but I'm going to burn this down to the ground because I've got to free myself from the situation so I can access my Queen of Wands and I can bring love and happiness and harmony back into my life. So this happened in the past and in the present, this King of Pentacles put the boundaries around him regarding love and someone is saying, you know, don't try me on this one. Don't try me on this one.
because I think he wants this person back. This king of pentacles, this emperor, I think he wants this person back. And he is now defending her, even though he may have thrown her under the bus, probably did throw her under the bus in the past. And um, because there's judgment here. And he's saying, you know what? I, I think I made a mistake. This is, um, I, I need to get this person back. I, I, I need to, I need to. And when he said this, the group went all sorts of ape shit. Oh, excuse me. I didn't mean, mean to swear there. Ape, ape-ish. Because he left somebody hanging or he didn't want to be hurt or he didn't want to be part of something. He wanted to focus on his emperor so that he could be a better person when he comes back to this individual. Now, that may be some of your story. That may not be some of your story. I mean, just take what's, what resonates here. But I feel like this Queen of Pentacles made a, made a judgment on something. There was a decision that was made because she has value. And because she has value, someone's being judged. And because she has value and someone is being judged, someone now has to have a certain image out in public. Or is trying to fool people or is trying to manipulate people through being the powerful emperor. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Unbelievable. The Ace of Cups and the Emperor. But for the love of the children, someone might be telling somebody, look, I'm going to focus on my children. I don't have time for anything else. That's all I'm going to do. And now there's this group or this friend or whatever, and they're losing their marbles over this. But it's the love of the father or the love of leadership, the love towards a father, the love towards leadership, the love of their job, being a leader in their company, in their job. I need more information. Oh my gosh. I need more information. Hold on. Why is this person wanting to be represented as the emperor? Because of the nine of pentacles, which is her and her, I believe. Wants to be represented as the emperor because of the nine of pentacles accomplishment. Happy family. An offer, a, an offer that was on pause or is not moving forward for whatever reason. The wheel of fortune is, is turning. It's moving forward. Everything is moving forward. You can't stop it. It's like a speeding train. Can't be stopped. And the hermit. And the hermit is looking back on again, guys, I feel like this is an energy of this queen of wands, this queen of pentacles, who is burning it down to the ground. They had to stand in their strength. They left a situation. Someone was left with toxicity. And wanting, wanting to have this love and this compassion and this joy. <clears throat> Somebody's name might be Joy, by the way. But
They want this person back. After they left. Because now they were forced to see something from a different perspective. And they're looking back on her because they asked about the emperor. They're looking back on her and they are seeing her glow up. They're seeing how many people love her. They're seeing offers coming in for her and her life is moving forward. That is what I got. I, I don't know. I don't know how else to describe this. I really, really don't. I wish all of you the best. Much light, much love, many blessings and catch you on the flip side.